Back towards the right hand side, headed on by Stacey to Fastnacht. He's on side, right hand side. This is a chance. Crosses it in towards Sergeant Cabango, cuts it out. Falls for Sarah, who's off balance. Fastnacht cuts it back to Sainz. Blocked in the six yard box. Nunez comes out. Sarah in a good position here, left edge of the box, bouncing ball. Sarah brings it under control, weaves away from two challenges. Brilliant from Sarah. Feeds it into the six yard box. Oh, Fastnacht. Swansea are building now with Cullen. Good ball to Patterson into the Norwich penalty area. He goes from the angle, left hand side. Duffy closing him down. Oh, but Patterson has rattled it in. And Swansea lead. And on the snap, working hard, trying to keep the ball in Swansea territory. He's done well to nod it on to Sarah. Sarah has the ball where he likes it, and he hits a shot. Oh, it's magnificent. 25 yards, Sarah. Diagonal ball from Gibson now. Norwich making the most of the stoppage time to test uh, Swansea here. Stacey tees up Sarah, who curls into the penalty area. Sargent's headed down, and he scores! Brilliant from Norwich City. Sarah has scored. Here comes Key, coming forward for Swansea, playing it to Cullen on the edge of the penalty area. Swansea showing for the first time in the second half, and it's broken in the penalty area, and they are going to get a penalty. Gunn diving in. He's caught Ronald, who goes to get themselves back level at Carrow Road. Left footed penalty, or oh, dispatched beautifully right down the middle. Gunn threw himself to his right, and good here. Fulton's found some room in the midfield. Out to the right hand side, and Ronald in the penalty area. Angled shot, ooh, gun it. All forward by McCallum. Excellent control from Nunez on the left hand side. His cross, uh, Fastnacks there to head it across goal, and then it's off the line. Duffy got his head to it. Left hand side to take this latest corner. Floated into the Swansea penalty area. Duffy's header off the line. Right hand side for Swansea, crosses into the penalty area dangerously. Yates rises, but it's a header away from Stacey. It's fallen to low in the penalty area for Swansea. It's a curling shot, great save, gun. Superb save. Swansea nearly stole it there, and McCallum clears. One back in the middle of the park by Bristol City. Good turn from Tommy Conway. Good opportunity this for Bristol City. Conway's got men right and left, goes alone. Good save, Phillips, straight at him in the end. There's a chance for the away side, though, as Eves breaks forward. He'll get a shot on target, Eves, and Max O'Leary call, called into action for the first time today. Very structured in their defensive shape. It's a nice ball that will feed Twine. Twine finds Mametti. Chance here for Bristol City. Anis Mametti round the keeper. Still going Mametti. Can't get his shot away. Scooped up by Dylan Phillips. He did so well, Anis Mametti. Just couldn't get the ball out of his feet. Mametti feeds Conway. Lovely touch from Conway. James back to Conway. What a save. Wonderful flowing move from Bristol City. Lovely ball into Twine. Twine looking to feed Conway. Conway one on one. Round the keeper goes down. Penalty. Conway with the shimmy. And Tommy Conway gives Bristol City the lead at Ashton Gate. A fifth penalty of the season for Conway. Will be Twine, up and over the wall, it's wonderful! Superb from Scott Twine and Bristol City a 2-0 up. Inch perfect from Bristol City's number seven. He's been threatening to do it for a number of games.
and settle into the afternoon the better of these two teams. Here's Jay Stansfield for Birmingham into the Huddersfield penalty area. Miyoshi now rolls it to his right and a turn inside and the strike made by Ethan Laird. Wasted height towards the far post. The header back across goal. And still play goes on here. Pink to take this Birmingham corner. It's a delivery of depth and the header. A long way over the top. Way in front just before half time. A bit of room here on the edge of the area and it's rolled to Miyoshi. He's able to turn inside Miyoshi looking to link up with someone in the ball. This is what we thought it might be here this afternoon with so much on the line. for Buchanan to come forwards here. Now Anderson, great work from him. Miyoshi fires it in! Birmingham lead on the stroke. Second half. Won't be relegated mathematically if they lose today, perhaps. But it's a game they must win, and they've got themselves level so soon after half-time. So Bielik forced to go back to John Ruddy who hits it long first time. And Huddersfield sees the initiative here, they might have a chance to get themselves in front, Ruddy comes out. Buchanan. And she tries to link up with the fullback once again, now he's able to find Stansfield but it roared. Birmingham stretching to get back in shape, Radoni sees his strike blocked. And then it comes in from distance, but it's just Nichols. In comes the corner, and it evades everyone ever for Huddersfield. Can he pick somebody out? The cross is deflected and cleared away. And there is the full time.
and gets the play recycled as a long piercing shot comes in from Ipswich Town he makes it three wide again with Burns at the byline tries to drive it in took a deflection falls its way through to Haas and Ipswich Town are in front on the 18 yard line bends one towards goal wide of the target Vatke the ball oh my word in the six yard box and I thought for a minute Massimo Luongo had stretched a leg out in the six yard area and prized the ball into the back of the team back to Erme. He's got the chance to cross here. Left footed, swings it in at pace. It might pop to someone in an amber shirt. Greaves and Philogene on the volley. 20 yards out, sends it wide of the right hand side of goal. In the area, following Seri's intelligence not to take it on himself and instead put it on a plate for him. Double figures for Tufan. 1 1, the scoreline. As we've played a minute of the three back by Tufan at one end but respond at the other Hutchinson with an absolute bullet into the top left corner dribbling away from Morsi plays to Philogene in the box on the left hand side stands up across Tufan's header over the bar through about four yards Delap involved Greaves involved Tufan nearly but listen to the crowd now Hull City have been buzzing around jogging back the quickest Davis was up there of course from the delivery Virgil how close they've just come hitting the crossbar on behind City almost in a diamond shape watching Ipswich pass the ball around but not at the same pace as they did at Portman Road Time tonight Ipswich Town have led 23 minutes to go and Hull City have to do it all up if City were to get a draw tonight it would mean there would be three points behind Norwich, two behind West Brom. Here's the chance to equalise. Ohio charging open here. More to Taylor. Ipswich with a through ball to Broadhead. The moment. It's well saved. Allsop stood his ground. He's made some incredible... This city will not bow down to disappointment. And Noah Ohio makes it 3-3. Three, three. The crossbar's his friend. And the city of... Brown loses out here. Hakun takes it on. Looking for Vardy, runs in behind. And it's a great stop by Freddy. Northend just keeping the shape, hoping that Leicester get bored. Cody looking for Fatu, who got in behind Brady. Winks into Ndidi. Northend may have gambled high up the pitch and pressed too much. Yunus Akun looks for Vardy. And Vardy finds the corner. It didn't look the cleanest of finishes. Akun, Winks, now Fass. Fass trying to get away from Keane. Fass into the box, he beats three. Fass shoots, comes back off the post. And there's Jamie Vardy. Final quarter of the game. As Alan Brown steps in to win a tackle here, but inadvertently sends Vardy through for a hat-trick. And Freddie Wester coming down their right-hand side now, and Didi. Didi being held off by Hughes. Fatawu skips away from the Welshman, who falls to the ground. Fatawu into the box, finds McAteer, it's three for Leicester. The only difference this time is themselves to get at least a consolation this evening to head the to send the supporters heading into the summer win. Fatawu charging forward here, gets to the edge of the box, keeping it on his left, hits the... Watmore carries it forward here, looks for Emil Reese. The box looks for Winks, who ran over the top of the ball. It came through for Liam Miller, who first time just smashes it downfield. It's a loose touch here by Cody. Stewart's onto it, and he tried. The full-time whistle sounds.